Good morning everyone! Today we're going live to do a little Zara haul. As last week we were shopping on Bond Street and I asked you what do you want to see? Many of you said you want to see a Zara haul. So I'm going to show you today some of the pics from Zara um, I got for Spring Summer. It's actually a high street call. I'm not gonna call it specifically Zara call because I'm gonna show, uh, sh I'm gonna show another brand too. But first of all, let's do a little recap on last week. Uh, me and Aisha visited uh, Versace Boutique on Bond Street, uh, and actually it was amazing to see their collection in real life. A few people asked me, "Oh, Denny, why didn't you show the store inside?" It was would have loved it but the thing is uh, Versace don't allow videos inside first of all for the privacy of the shoppers because it was not a private viewing it was actually you know their normal day and they had some customers uh, and second of all because this is their latest boutique concept uh, and everything is very new so this is just their policy but we took some cool photos uh, and we actually photographed our favorite pieces uh, which you can see on story highlights and also today uh, at 12 30 the blog will go live so we'll do a whole blog on Versace, our store visit, our shop edit, best picks, what's worth buying, everything will be on the website today uh, as part of the new blog. So for today <coughs> I'm gonna show a few high street pieces and I think first of all I want to answer a few questions because we had a few style questions um, yesterday, so I'm using Aisha's phone because we're shooting for mine and it's, I'm an iPhone person, definitely not an Android person, so I will need some help with that, <laughs> to be honest. I think I have been using iPhone for too long. Great. Aisha. <laughs> okay, let's start with a few style questions. <clears throat> okay. First, first of all, shoe ideas for spring, please. Okay, shoes is such a topic and quite often I say that we kind of start or base our outfit from uh, based on the shoes or we start from the shoes, especially if you live in London uh, and as you know here the weather is a little bit unpredictable, it might rain, it might be boiling hot uh, or you know it might be bald in one day. So. Uh, shoes are important, so I would talk about European climate and shoes in London. I would say a pair of good smart trainers is a must. Definitely a simple white one uh, and probably a statement one as a second pair, like a two-tone pair of trainers. Also some loafers if that's your style or ballerina flat shoes or slides are all good option or sling back shoes they're back and you can have some shoes with block heel and these are really good for spring um and there was one question which i want to find question do you style men my husband needs urgent wardrobe me makeover okay yes i do style men and um, I do all my styling sessions for men and w uh, women and they work exactly in the same way so you can contact us on our website for his makeover. Um, next, um, <clears throat> great, so um, let me pick something interesting. I don't think we have time to answer most of them, but okay, this one is good. How to do the most good with the clothes I don't want anymore or that, that don't fit anymore? Basically, what do you do with your old clothes? How do you recycle them to be sustainable? Okay, there are plenty of ways and a lot of options you can do with your old clothes. First of all, you have to evaluate if the clothes are good in a good condition or no. If they're in a good condition, if they're designer clothes or if they're barely worn, you can resell them and uh, generate money towards your future shopping. You can use Depop, that's the platform I use as well and if you do, please connect with me. I have many things from my clients' wardrobes and my personal wardrobes there. For so some designer pieces, you can use Vestier Collective. Um, and um, obviously there are other platforms out there, these are the two I use. And if the clothes are kind of tired, maybe they have 
uh, holes or maybe the fabric feels tired, then you can recycle them. There are clothing banks all around London, so you can leave them there. Or you can actually recycle them in certain high street stores such as H&M or I think Aisha, you did other stories the other day, right? Yes, and they give you actually 10% off in your next purchase. So. Okay, that's brilliant. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so you can bring your old clothes at other stories if you're a lady or H&M if you're a man. Uh, and H&M take of course ladies clothes and you can get some vouchers for your future shopping so which is good um, and actually there is a whole blog post on how to recycle or what to do with your old clothes and accessories on the website so you can read it it's we have 10 ways or 10 ideas what you can do with your old clothes okay so should we go to the point and maybe start with our little shop edit what do you think yeah sounds good maybe let's first talk a little bit about zara mm -hmm. uh, and when it's good to shop for zara how do you shop in zara and so on <coughs> sorry should we start with their branding maybe yeah actually i want to show you guys their new branding maybe some of you who has been in store have seen it but maybe others have not and I have a little box of it. Maybe you should can check around in the corridor. So basically, the Zara new branding is like really bright kind of pink purple color. And they recently changed it. And I have a really um, unpleasant experience to say with it. I want to show you how it looks like just in case you haven't seen it. So I normally keep boxes all around. So bear with me a second. Did you find it? Oh, great. Okay. So this is kind of the new color. Maybe I don't know if they use it for spring, summer, or this is kind of their permanent like brown color. They used to be green and just have the organic brown color for their boxes and bags, and now they move to that sort of like a magenta pink, which I strongly dislike because of a really bad experience. Maybe I should share the experience, Aisha, what do you think? Yes. <laughs> it's actually a little bit embarrassing. I had the longest day styling two of my clients and I was wearing a pastel suit and it was last week when it was really rainy in London. So obviously I had an umbrella, I was wearing a pastel suit, it was end of the day and I was fixing a fashion emergency. So I was shopping for one of my male clients who had performance and we needed to get some bits and bobs from Zara. He was not with me. I was shopping for him. And I was supposed to bring him the clothes before his performance and then enjoy the performance afterwards with Isha. So we met. I think from the time I went from Knightsbridge to King's Road, it was the strongest rain ever. I even needed to stop and I was carrying my Zara bag. So as you know, it's paper. So I thought I'm going to hold it like in my hands so it doesn't break uh, and I have my clothes all over. So I was holding my Zara bag like this, having my umbrella, arrived to meet Aisha, left the bag and I saw my pastel blazer like almost like tie-dyed in pink. It was actually <laughs> shocking. <laughs> and it's also a new new blazer and um, yeah, I strongly dislike the color because it translates to clothes when it gets wet. So please be careful. It washed out. When things like this happen, you have to fix them kind of immediately. So I spent the evening um, hand washing my blazer but it I took it off now it's normal but yeah I just think it's unnecessary that color and the natural one looked better but anyway that's a side note let's move to the clothes right yeah let's do it so let's start maybe uh, do you have any questions for Zara by the way like yeah, so with Zara, which items would you recommend purchasing from there? Like, what are they known to be good at? Okay, so Zara obviously is a brand I think most of us use. In my styling experience, I had one person who was not able to pick or choose anything from Zara. And this is one person for many years. So I think Zara has something for everyone. Um, and, you know, when I shop High Street, I really try to be conscious because to me, sustainable dressing is not only about the brand, it's also about your mindset and what do you do with the clothes, how much do you use them? Because I have seen cases of people who shop 
um, sustainable brands and luxury brands, but they don't use them and the way they style them, it's not sustainable. So in that sense, I had things from Zara, which lasted me 10 years and more. Uh, and I think they, you know, I use them a lot. What do I shop in Zara? So <clears throat> I'll get some little basics, some classics, but I think when you do any type of shopping, it's important to go with a plan. What do you need? And you always need to consider your style, personality, body shape and complexion. Now today, what I'm going to show you, it's uh, for my personal wardrobe and it works with, with my body shape and my style personality, which has a classic element in it. Uh, but I'll be giving you tips how, you know, how you can shop for yourself and find the right items so it could be useful to you too. Uh, so yeah, I try to shop classic pieces. I always look at the fabrics. I think Zara is good for little simple classic tops. Um, it's good for certain type of blouses. They also have limited edition and certain collections uh, with some tops which have beautiful designs. It's good to shop things from trend because sometimes if you pick a trend which is not timeless, you don't want to spend a lot of money on something which will go out of fashion next season. But at the same time, if you want to cover this trend, it's good to, to uh, go in Zara or a high street store. And just generally to me, the labels are not so important. I look at the clothes and for me it's important. Okay, is the piece beautiful? Is the fabric nice? Does it fit nice? And how it sits on the body? And if it's high street or high end, it doesn't really matter. Because I think everyone can look stylish with any brand. So this is kind of what I would shop in Zara. Maybe we can do a little shopping in store next week. What do you think, Gracia? Yeah, that so sounds if, fun. If you want to do it, maybe leave us a comment and we'll do a little vote. And if, if you want, we can go next week in Zara and I will show you how I decide if a piece is good or no. But what I would not shop at Zara is probably some good quality basics such as white t-shirt. This is what I'm not going to shop there or things which are too bold and memorable, or if I have a feeling that a certain piece will become too commercial or too popular, I'm not gonna go there, just because I wouldn't enjoy seeing many people with the same thing. But saying that, if you have a linen white shirt from Zara and you style it in different ways, you know, then uh, you can do much more with the styling. So these are the things I would actually get there. But let's, let's go to my... Um, a rail, right? Yeah. So I'm going to show you a few of the things I recently got. Um, and I'm going to start with this blouse. So it's like really pretty <clears throat> white blouse. It's I always look at the fabrics, as I said. So this is like linen and cotton blend. It has beautiful detail. And actually when I saw this blouse, I, I saw it online. And I thought, okay, this is familiar. I have seen this blouse somewhere. And I'm gonna show you where. So again, I'll need to work with the Android, which <laughs> it's not my, okay, you said it's it's seven, right? Gosh, you just came out. <laughs> yeah, just stop. <laughs> okay, you will need to change it afterwards, so you should start it. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, it, she will change her password. Okay, so this cloth, I saw it and I was thinking, hmm, I have seen it somewhere. And here is where I have seen it. Maybe you can focus on the screen. So I actually saw the blouse on another website. Uh, and it's a very, very similar, it's much as fashion. It's very, very similar style to what Valentino do with their new collection. And actually you asked me this question last week, how you can look stylish uh, and luxury on a budget. So this is exactly how you do it. You see something, from a designer who inspires you. You look at the outfit and analyze it. So for example, here I have the um, lace blouse, I have a chain necklace, I have pink trousers. So I was like, okay, I can recreate this outfit with high street items. Um, and so I picked the blouse, I saw it. It's a little bit oversized, so when things when I see uh, certain cuts which are oversized, I always go a size down. So I got a size down and then I thought I actually want to have a full outfit with it. Of course, I can wear it with my jeans or shorts or white trousers for summer, but I want to do something different. So I bought a whole outfit. I actually found a very similar pair of bottom. 
okay they are shorts they are not trousers but it's the same concept and then I also found a chain necklace so this is the exact look I'm gonna do and probably I will do either gold or white flat sandals for the day so you would have the chain necklace with the top, I think I'll make it slightly shorter. Maybe in you know, all this length. You'll have the pink bottom and you'll have some sort of strappy sandals to finish off the look. And this is your Valentino style on a budget, high street. But saying that, both are really nice fabrics, both are linen blend, so both very suitable for summer. Uh, and actually this is a good point because we discussed this morning like linen and Aisha actually asked me if I like linen and linen creases quite a lot right it's um, there is a time and place for it maybe on the beach I think the fabric has beauty when it creases but for the city if you want to look a little bit more polished or tailored, um, it's nice to have linen blend so always look at the fabric this is what I always do when I shop check the fabric and if it's a linen blend let's say maybe cotton and linen or linen mixed with something else it's always better because it creases less but at the same time because you have the linen in the fabric it's more breathable and suitable for summer mm -hmm. Are there any questions on the outfit no i love it can i borrow it <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're similar size so <laughs> you can okay next um what we should go next okay. okay let's talk about trends right mm -hmm. um <clears throat> so perhaps ladies you have seen the shade of green so this is like really really popular at the moment it's like called bottega green because they have a lot of this color uh in their spring summer collection so we saw it and we thought gosh i really want to cover this trend i like it um, but I don't think it's a trend which is timeless. I think it's something which we'll have for a while and it's gonna fade. So I thought, okay, let me see what Zara are doing in this color. So I found this mini skirt and I thought this is fun, especially if you have like nice stand in the summer, like a little skirt to mix and match. Now, uh, how I'll style this skirt is I will dress it down because it's a short silky skirt and personally for my style i wouldn't go with uh like a really revealing top and heels i wouldn't really dress it up and to me it's not the skirt which i would wear when i when i want to look really elegant it's the type of skirt i will wear when i want to look fashionable and fun and i'll do it even for every day so i got this t-shirt it's actually from sandro so not zara but it's something i had but you can kind of use the same concept and have a white t-shirt with print which has the color of the bottom so i will do this and i'll finish off the outfit with white trainers for every day just to dress it down or i thought i can go with a hoodie as well like a little bit oversized cool style contrasting fabrics again trainers and basically this is how i'm gonna wear it i think it will also look beautiful with beige or nude color but again i'll pick something oversized maybe more casual to dress it down i wouldn't go like really dressy evening with this type of little skirt but that's my personal preference i have seen it looking amazing on girls who are really dressed up so again referring back to your style personality you have to make it you next okay so i'm gonna show you next a look which is um really really in at the moment and actually zara are doing like a lot of different variations of this and this is their um print quartz now i'm sure if you open the website you will see tons of them i have styled people in them uh, this one I got from their sale earlier this year, but now they have some with blue, some with red, and I have seen a lot basically. So I got this set of quartz because this shade of pink is basically one of my best colors. You can see it against my face. And I have a lot of pink things in my wardrobe. I have blazers, trousers. So I realized, okay, I can do a lot with that print. So when you shop for prints, always, always, always think about the colors and think, 
are these my best colors? Do they go with my complexion? Also think about the size and the scale of the print. So for example, here I picked kind of small size, so it really works with me. And a good test is if you put a print next to your face and you think, okay, do people first see my face? Or do they see the print? And if they see first the print, then maybe you need to change the size or change the color to make it work for you. So if you have, for example, um, if you're petite, I would definitely recommend to shy away from really big prints. I'll go for small to medium prints. And on the same, on the opposite side, if you're really tall, you can probably go away with bigger size for prints. But again, the, the, the colors matter. Also think, what sort of prints do I suit? Do I suit geometric prints, symmetrical, asymmetrical, florals, um, animal prints? What works with my style of personality? For example, for me, I often pick uh, geometric prints. I like florals, but you know what? On me, because I have kind of a girly energy. Sometimes when I put florals, I look like a little girl. So it has to be the right type of floral print. So another good point, when you pick prints or any, actually any outfit, consider your natural energy. What works on you? For example, if your natural energy is very classic uh, and then you wear very classic traditional clothes, then the outfit could become a little bit like, how to say, too classic, maybe even boring. So try to balance it and have something contrasting. Or for example, if you're a really attractive, sensual woman, um, try to tone it down with classic clothes instead of putting really um, sensual clothes, again, to balance it. Uh, and this is the same with girly. Actually, we spoke about your style personality, Asia, because you're quite girly. And you know, sometimes when you put florals, it just becomes a bit too too much, right? Yeah. So how, <coughs> how can someone identify the energy that they uh, release? You know? Okay, so I think <laughs> here you need an external opinion uh, and you need a professional, you know, to consult with them. I actually do one-to-one -one consultations uh, where which are really in depth and it's you know I combined styling with a little bit of coaching and psychology by the way I'm gonna share something exciting I haven't shared yet I just got my coaching diploma so I have been studying for the last six months and now I'm a certified personal development coach so I do understand psychology it's my personal interest but I combine it with styling as part of my consultations to understand you and this is something you know you have to understand best based on your lifestyle but also based on your features on your hair um on the way you stand on your presence on your manners you can kind of identify the energy of a woman or a man so you could be more classic you could be more girly more elegant more of a tomboy look you know these things we work them out during your style consultation uh, and during this consultation i help you to identify your style personality also to understand your body shape and complexion now these three elements are super important uh, and I believe everyone needs to understand them before they go shopping because it's almost like I compare it a little bit with a meal if you go shopping with a plan and you know what you want to get when you come back at home you can prepare a meal you can get your outfits ready if you go shopping without a plan you buy this and that you buy a little top or something you like you come back at home like and you can't cook the meal, you can't create outfits. So you always need a plan and you always need to start with, you know, what's my style, personality, body shape, and complexion. Okay, moving back to the topic. Uh, yeah, so I spotted this on sale, got it. Um, and then I saw they have another print blouse. So I thought, okay, because I'm getting trousers, you know, I will get both tops so I can, you know, play around, have different options. But the beauty of courts is that you can wear them together, you can wear them separate. I can style this with jeans, with trousers, with shirts, you know, and the, the trousers I wore with a basic white top and a pink blazer. So I definitely think for spring summer, it's um, 
how to say it will be helpful for your capsule wardrobe to have some sort of set of cords which you can mix and match with the rest of your wardrobe wear them together but also style them separately and actually i can show you even with my wardrobe i can style the print with the shorts and kind of get a different look or I can style the print with white jeans and kind of get a different look. So, especially if you travel as well, it's uh, always wise to have some sort of cords. And I recently styled one of my clients. We got her a beautiful floaty skirt and a top, which were cords. So together, they look like a dress, but you can also wear them separately. Yeah, so this is like from Zara set of cords, I would love to upgrade it with set of cords from proper silk fabric, so this will be more of an investment, but saying that I would still want to keep my Zara set because sometimes silk could be different to maintain uh, and you know this fabric is easy to maintain so it's nice to have it. Then next, okay so these are the shirts, Aisha was looking through my rail this morning and she said, hmm Danny, some of the clothes are still with labels. <laughs> are you planning to return them? <laughs> and the thing is, I'm not planning to return them. You know, everything I bought here is what I'm gonna wear. But we just never got the weather in London so far, right? Yeah. I don't know how do you find the weather, but for me, it has been. I needed to shop emergency cardigans and jumpers. Oh, and by the way, if you go to Zara for a jumper, don't waste your time. They don't have a single jumper, at least in their uh, small street uh, boutique. We're looking with Asia, so shop it online. They all have summer stuff. Uh, yeah, and this is all summer stuff. So a few basics, two cotton shirts I got actually in March to prepare my summer wardrobe. And they're both very classic. So again, let's talk a little bit about the shades. There are more cool shades here but my complexion is neutral, which means that I can go away with both warm and cool shades. And these ones, I aim to style them with the white jeans and probably I'll do a little gold necklace similar to the one I'm wearing today. So I will do a little snake necklace, maybe some hoops, and then, you know, one shirt, second shirt, and then with the white jeans, maybe brown or neutral sandals and this will be a really cool easy summer style oh also these shirts are really good cover-ups for the beach so if you're planning any summer holiday i'll definitely have one of these because you can wear them open with your bikini or bathing suit uh, and a cool hat and kind of create a resort look around them and i'm planning to get one in white too but maybe it will be a linen blend one rather than cotton Okay, next, let's talk a little bit about dresses. So to me, I will refer a little bit back to a capsule wardrobe because this is what I specialize in creating capsule wardrobe. So for your spring summer capsule wardrobe, I would recommend having two types of dresses, a little white dress and a little black dress. This is the starting point for me. And these are two colors, which I mean with white, you can find a shade to suit anyone. Uh, if I need to prioritize, I'll definitely start with the little white dress. And again, this is Zara. I got this one uh, a while ago, but I think it's still available. It's a linen blend. It has a beautiful neckline. It's short, which is a length I wear. Um, and it's a very easy dress. It has a beautiful open back. I think this is what, you know, why I got it. It looks really nice with then, which I hope I will have at some point this summer uh, and yeah I'll just wear it with um, little sandals maybe some statement earrings uh, it's a little bit loose style so it's not very figure hugging which is nice sometimes you want to show less on oh, the second one okay here I bring another brand so this is not actually Zara it's H&M uh, and the dress doesn't justify on the hanger but on the body, on the model, it looked nice. Um, it reminded me a little bit of a Jacques Mousse white dress I have because of the back detail. It has, you know, it's open back with all these uh, um, like little spaghetti straps. And the front is really simple. It works well on hourglass or pear body shape if you have well-defined waist. The length is nice, it's viscose. So overall, 
I decided to try it. The thing for me is that it's a little bit too cut out at the bust area, so I'm a little bit undecided whether I'll keep it or no. I think I'm gonna try it today and kind of decide and maybe show you later. Okay, any questions, uh, Alicia? Um, yeah, so um, in terms of uh, materials for summer dresses, you said shirts, you recommend linen blends. For yes. dresses, would you also recommend linen brand, uh, blends? or? Oh, again, it depends on the purpose. It depends on your body shape. You know, when you pick fabrics or when you think about fabrics, think how they will work on your body shape. Maybe start with the question, what do I want to accentuate um, in my body, what are my strengths? Do I like my legs? Do I like my waist? Do I like my, you know, neckline? What is my top strength? And basically pick a design which accentuates that. Because quite often I see the opposite. I will see my clients telling me, oh, Denny, I don't like this part. I don't want, you know, to place an accent here, let's say mid part or belly, which is understandable, but to me, that's negative styling. It never leads you to positive results. I will try to focus on your favorite parts, the parts in your body which you love, and then people naturally won't see, you know, the little imperfections or areas you don't want them to see. But in order to do that, for example, uh, if you don't want to place an accent in your mid part or like near your belly, I would recommend picking more structured fabrics. So think about the fabric. Don't pick silk or really light viscose, which is figure hugging, if you don't want the accent to be here. Pick something more structured, maybe cotton blend or, you know, something which has a shape so it doesn't show this area. Uh, and also consider, you know, the length, it's important. But yeah, think about the fabrics when you pick the dresses. Mm, sounds good yeah because we had the um a few couple of weeks ago when we tried the linen blend dress and it just was um putting too much accent on the belly area wasn't it so yeah and you yeah. know that's a sign when I shop with my clients and you know i implement the same thing for myself like you know when i put a piece of clothing i always think okay do i love it does it make me feel good uh, and if it doesn't, if I need to compromise, I just don't buy it. And you know, since I followed this rule, shopping became so much more easier. I immediately know if I want something or no the moment I try it. So a good tip, if you have doubts about a certain piece, maybe it's not for you. Maybe you should keep on looking. It's possible to have wardrobe full of clothes that you love uh, and wear. So this is my goal all the time. Mm. So yeah, coming back to my rail, or should we talk a little bit about outfits, or? Yeah, so um, could you talk us through your outfit today? Okay, so I'm wearing a basic t-shirt from Arcad. And coming back to your question, this is the type of basics I won't buy in Zara, because I haven't seen so far this type of basics which are good quality enough for me to get them like sometimes they are basics especially if they're suspiciously cheap you wash them once and they just get ruined but saying that never say never in fashion maybe they will surprise us and they will do a really good quality collection of basics and then of course i'll consider them this one i like because it's not pure white it's kind of off-white vanilla shade uh, and it just goes with my wardrobe they were trousers from Reese. I always tailor my trousers at the waist because they never fit me. The ones which fit the hips doesn't fit the waist. And I think that they were did them a bit too much this time. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't gain weight. <laughs> <laughs> this summer I have to stay like this or smaller. <laughs> Hopefully they will stretch a little bit. Now they are fine, but I don't think I will eat a lot if I'm wearing them today. And then my sandals are actually, I don't know if you see them. Yeah. They're Zara. So they're gold sandals. And I actually quite like the shape. They're comfortable. It's a mid, you know, mid heel. I don't wear super high heels because I work in heels. So I can wear these the whole day. And yeah, the shoes are Zara. And Zara do good shoes sometimes. I look for real leather when I buy shoes in them. Oh, actually, I will show you one more pair. Okay, so someone who is in fashion recommended me this pair of sandals. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna give them a go. 
And they're again real leather. They're like basic, which Zara have like I think every year. Um, and actually they're comfy. They fit nice. I don't think I'm gonna keep them though. I will be honest with you guys. What I'm keeping and what now here. And these I'm not gonna keep. Why? Because the color doesn't really fit my palette. I think they are lovely if you wear brown. They are spot on, they are well priced, real leather, but they just don't go with my wardrobe. So I think these are going back. We can even return them today. Okay. Um, oh, and, and I will keep on maybe a little bit with the shoes since we started with um, the gold sandals. Mm -hmm. So I got another pair. And these sandals are actually from H&M. So sometimes, especially for beach holidays, um, and if you go to a beach club and you walk in the sand or you walk, you know, on like um, something built on the sand, you don't want to wear expensive shoes because they just get ruined. Uh, and I really like these ones. These are slightly lighter shade. Uh, they're again like the heel is doable so I can walk in it for a while. They are strappy so I got, let me get this pair of sandals for the summer just to go with some dresses. Oh, and this one, so they're H&M, so I wouldn't wear these ones on show, but I would wear them with really long trousers when you don't see the heel because they're super, super comfy. They're basically like um, like five-star hotel slippers, very mm -hmm. comfy. And this is what you need when you wear heels, and I wear heels during my work, sometimes six hours, so with really long trousers, where you don't see the, the shoe, I'm gonna wear this. And I'll feel good and not in pain during the day. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we showed the shoes, we showed, oh, I have a few more pieces, right? Next one I'm gonna show you is this waistcoat from Zara. Now, as far as I remember, this was a linen blend again. Yeah, it's viscose, linen, and polyamid blend. <clears throat> it's a really good set. I got it with matching trousers, which are white legs. So I think this is really cool for summer. I already styled it with blue jeans, white blazer from another brand, and a little accent, red accent back, and it worked. These waistcoats are really in, but saying that they're also classic and timeless. So uh, if you like the tailored look, I would recommend looking into these. I was actually planning to wear it today, but I think it needs a little bit of tailoring. I'm gonna make it a little bit more fitted. So when I wear it, it actually looks nice as a top. So this, this will go to my tailor. Actually, we'll put it aside so we bring it today. And the trousers are good. One more thing, when you buy sets like this, try to keep them on separate hangers. It's just better for styling because sometimes you forget where the trousers or the top if they're all layered on one hanger. Oh, okay, so we're coming to the cherry on the top. Something which might not look very interesting, but it's an essential in London. So probably guys, you have noticed that the last few weeks it has been raining a lot and I kept on getting requests from my clients about stylish and nice raincoats. And, uh, you know, it was just an assist. I needed to get one for myself too. Like you can't survive in London without a good raincoat. And raincoats are not the type of clothes I would invest in. Maybe that will change, but right now I see them as something practical, unique, rather than as a fashion piece. At the same time, you want it to look good, so I found this one from H&M for £12. Yeah. And I think it looks much more expensive than £12. The color is good. I will actually put it on so you see how it looks. It's okay, it's light, you know, I'm not gonna do my most stylish look in this jacket, but it's practical, it's good, maybe for little walks, walks in the countryside, it works, and I actually like the shape of the sleeve, they also have it in black, the length is good, so if you're petite, that will work, if you're average height, this will look slightly cropped, but you know, I think it's a good jacket for £12, right? Yeah, definitely. And they also have it in black, so I'm considering the black one as well, just, you know, as a little basic, just in case we have a rainy week in London again. 
which I hope you want. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yes, uh, we're coming towards the end. I'm gonna show. Uh, I'm gonna show. What else I have to show? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. What about the alfresco dining? I know places opened now indoors, but alfresco was a thing for I think maybe two months, month and a half in London, mm -hmm. and everyone wanted to be out, um, and it was a bit of a struggle what to wear. So you are not in your winter parka coat because it was that cold at some point, and you know you look good and nice. So um, yeah, in May I needed to shop some statement jumpers and I actually found this one in Zara so I think this is a really good Zara <clears throat> kind of finding it's a warm blue which works with my complexion uh, and it has a bit of Mio Mio vibe with the bow detail at the front do you see it well? yeah yeah so this is to me like what I would call a jumper with the status of a blouse why? Because it has a v-neckline, which means that I can wear some jewelry, it has that embellishment detail, which looks really pretty, and it has the sleeve. Maybe I'll put it on. Should we put it on? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see how it looks. Have you shopped recently in Zara, Isha? No, but maybe after this haul <laughs> I will. <laughs> yes, I must say their collection now is good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that looks very comfortable. It's very comfortable. You were warm, so I don't need a jacket, but little secret, let's say if I'm not wearing a top, if I want to show the deep v-neckline, I'll do a thermal bodysuit underneath if it's cold outside, and that will make my outfit work. And even, you know, I wore it with white trousers, with jeans, and just the sleeve is pretty, so I feel like a little bit more dressed up if I need to have a drink or bite outside. Uh, and yeah, I think a jumper or cardigan with the status of a blouse is a good piece to have in your capsule wardrobe. I actually talk about all the essential pieces for spring capsule wardrobe in my latest webinar, which you can watch for free on my YouTube channel. It's about an hour long, but there you see all the components for a spring summer wardrobe. And this is one of them, especially if you're in UK, you need some sort of knitwear all year round. Um, and what do I mean by a jumper with the status of a blouse? I mean something which has a little bit of shape, has something interesting like bling bling or a detail, maybe a poet or balloon sleeve, you know, something with design rather than a plain jumper. Yeah? Mm. Okay. Oh, and for this one, because I wanted to create more looks around it, I also got a pair of matching trousers to do what I would call a tonal look. So head to toe one color, and then I'll do, I did it with white trainers, but maybe beige or white shoes as well, if you want to dress it up. And that could look smart for the evening. Okay, what else? With the jumpers, if you're going to purchase jumpers with a detail, like the, the ribbon detail that you have there with which is like a stone material, yes. how would you recommend washing it? Or do you just not wash it? <laughs> <laughs> of course do you, you wash it. I must say, you try to kind of, um, you know, be a little bit more conscious. So for example, with any type of knitwear, regardless if you shop cashmere, really nice like designer knitwear or high street knitwear, you need to take care of it like beautiful clothes come with the commitment to take care of them and like treat them in the best way so they can last you longer and to me you know a Zara piece is as precious as some of my designer pieces you know it's the relationship I have with the clothes I love the piece and it doesn't matter the label I kind of want to treat it in a nice way and then they last you longer so these ones unfortunately you need to hand wash Mm. And I have like an admin day when I hand wash some stuff, so this, actually I will show you, I have some cosmetics for clothes which I'm gonna bring, just a second. Okay. So, hope everyone's enjoying the Zara haul. I've definitely learned some uh, new tips and really want to get an oversized shirt now. 
And yeah, if you guys have any questions, please post them now and we'll be able to answer them. If not, you can DM Denny and she'd be happy to answer any of your style questions. In the meantime, let's look at some of her jewelry. Some beautiful pieces here, pearls. Showing the jewelry. Yeah, the saying okay. you have some lovely okay. pieces. So these pieces are again high street. Should I move here? Yeah. So for me, when it comes to jewelry, uh, again, it doesn't matter the label. You can shop high street or hand and you have cool jewelry. To me, like it's all about the design. Is the piece nice? Does it suit you? So I'll show you a few of the high street pieces, which I got from high street brands. First one is Zara. So, by the way, their collection at the moment is really good at Zara. I don't know, guys, have you shopped at it? It's a lot of bohemian style, little tops and blouses. I think it's perfect for a resort wear. Um, or if you live in Spain or, you know, somewhere more Mediterranean, it's that sort of vibe. Or if you live in UK and you want to be there or go there, it's good for your holiday wardrobe. So anyway, back to the point, they have very good collection at Zara. I recommend looking at it. And they have also cool jewelry. So what they got is this little choker. It's actually with nature, like little pearls. And you know, it's, it's a nice pop of color. I'm also going to wear it on the beach. And I got it with a longer necklace so you can kind of layer it um, and create a layered look and you can also wear them separately. And you know, they will go for example nice with the linen dress, with some of the tops or with that top as well. You know, we can change the chain and do that, and, you know, maybe I'll do just the choker here. I wouldn't go with the long one. And actually, you know, when you plan to style things, sometimes it's good to have the necklace on the hanger. I think you have done this as well. Does it help you? Yes, definitely. So you don't forget, especially if you're not used to accessorizing. It's kind of a reminder like, hey, you need to wear me today. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are the boho style jewelry, which I think I'll get more of. They're nice. And to me, accessory, you know, is something you would have in your wardrobe forever. And I always say it's better to have a wardrobe with less clothes, just the right essential ones and a lot of accessories because these are the items which, first of all, add personality to your style, make it you. And second of all, they can transform your look okay so we show zara i think h name is good for accessories too so they have a new collection and i recently got this layered necklace so it's again it comes together both pieces <clears throat> it's with a choker and a short uh, and a longer chain um i'm gonna try it with a few looks to be honest when it comes to link necklaces i prefer misoma what i'm wearing in terms of Earrings, so I'm not sure. I'll need to try this with clothes and decide if I keep it or I just get the matching one from Miss Summer. But you know, it's a good alternative if you're on a budget because you can wear it like together or separate. They also have this type of bracelets which are really in. This is HM. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, a pair of really cool earrings I'm going to show you. By the way, H&M are good for, um, they're good for earrings and little jewelry, inexpensive ones. I would recommend shopping in store. Maybe go to their Oxford Street one. They always have a good selection there, like the flagship store, and pick them in store rather than online. But I'll show you a pair which I got for a photo shoot, which had a team around love, and then I kept them for myself was last year but now I saw they have them again so it's these little love earrings Aww, which are so super cute. cute you know if you're going on a date night mm. and you want to send a little message with your outfit you can just you know feel love yeah spread and some you, love <laughs> yeah I think it's a cool detail and I saw them the other day they have them back so if you like to play around with your jewelry, this is an option. And you know, then H&M have a lot of these little hoops with pearls or something more like bling bling I would get from there. 
Um, oh, and this pearl choker too. I will wear this more on the beach. Uh, and I think I want to upgrade it with proper pearls. But this is good, you know, if you go on the beach and you don't want to ruin your nice jewelry and you want to do a little layering, mm -hmm. uh, that could work. So these are our jewelry and actually, oh, I wanted to show you the hand washing stuff, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, so you asked me how do you maintain jumpers and knitwear, uh, you know, to keep it nice. Um, and one thing you can do is um, hand wash it. And what you do for hand washing, I call it cosmetics for clothes, is I have this little selection. I'm just going to show it to you. Uh, which I buy from, so basically it's called, I'm going to link the name, it's like dry cleaning store, which actually um, doesn't use, they don't use chemicals when they dry clean your clothes, so they're much more forgiving, and I think they co cooperate with Chanel as well to wash their clothes, so they're really good. Just the name is out of my mind, because I haven't been, I think it was Bla Blaze, something like this. Oh, do you remember it? No. I don't. I haven't been there in a while, but I shop these from there. And they do this organic kind of uh, washing liquid. So, for example, this is for... I'm going to start with this one. So, this is for denim wash. Uh, so, if you want to preserve the color of your denim, say you invest it in, in a nice pair of jeans, this is good to keep the color. So I use this one. This one is stain remover, but again, it's kind of organic -y, so much more forgiving. It really works well. So if I have a really nice silk blouse or, I don't know, something more delicate, I'm going to use this. And this is just a general, like, something I wash, can wash clothes. Um, and it's a really good brand, which is very forgiving to the clothes, uh, which I use for hand washing. And of course, then you need to kind of keep them in the right way. You need to fold them nicely. I mean, I'm gonna fold them under <laughs> the light nicely. I use the Marie Kondo method to fold them. Uh, and you know, just treat them with love so they last you longer. And yeah, I think we covered most of the things from Zara today. I think last thing is the bags. Maybe I will just take out these out of the camera. So I want to sh uh, talk a little bit about bags from Zara and you know, are they any good there? To me, I see a bag as a finish, something which finishes your outfit. So uh, in a way, the brand is irrelevant. Whether it's, you know, luxury brand or high street brand, if the bag works with the outfits, this is what I'm looking for. And in that sense, I think Zara has some good bags, especially for summer. I just ordered one with pearls, they have some good raffia bags, and I got this one, which is not my typical style. It's kind of a blingy, eveningy, well, clearly I'm hoping to go out more, <laughs> maybe do some parties, but you know, it's a good staple um, bag for events even if you put it twice or twice per year it goes with everything which metallics always do it goes with my gold sandals and you know i was thinking maybe for an evening i would do it with a little black dress or even you know with prints florals you can wear this with everything so it's good to have it i should start actually using it now we can go out and one more bag i have been using a lot from zara is this red bag so Nothing special in terms of, you know, the way it's made, it's not even real leather, but you know, for me the size is good, it's practical, and sometimes I don't want to be wearing, like, expensive or designer bags, because uh, I know I'll have, let's say, a long day, or I'll, sometimes I don't read my bags very well, to be honest, so if I know I'm having a long day, or I'm going to be throwing my bag here and there, I'm gonna go, you know, for a high street bag, and this Sarah one just goes nice, you know, I just styled it, for example, with the cords, and you know, they're not the same color, but they're complementing each other, red and pink go well together, and you can do this with gold sandals for the evening, or white trainers for the day. So this is a good Zara bag, and they have quite a few designs, so I would recommend looking at them like this summer. <clears throat> and yeah, do we have any questions, Isha? Anything you want to ask? 
No, I've just learned a lot mm. and I just can't wait to go to Zara now and Yay. have a look and try some stuff on. Oh, one really interesting thing I kind of kept for the end. So everyone who is still watching, you'll uh, know a little kind of uh, think about Zara. So when you shop Zara, um, it's good to know that Zara stores are graded. What that means? Maybe if you've noticed that in certain Zara stores you get nicer pieces uh, and, or maybe you get some limited collections or pieces which you don't see in others. So uh, the best Zara stores in London are the Zara on King's Road, the Zara on Knightsbridge opposite Harrods and the Zara on Bond Street. These are the three stores which always get the new collections first. Sometimes they get limited edition things or let's say pure silk blouses which you won't even find online. So if you want to shop in Zara, check these three, they're the best. Uh, and you know, make sure you go to, to a good Zara because it's, I'm sure if you've been around in London, you'll notice that certain ones are, you know, really nicely displayed and have better things than others. So it's important where in Zara you shop. And yeah, let's talk maybe about what we should do next week. What do you think? I was thinking we can go shopping. So I can take you actually in stores this time, I promise. It's not going to be like Versace will enter the stores. So we can pick a few high street stores or we have a few boutique visits. So maybe we can do a little live from there on Saturday. So should we do a store visit? So I show you how I shop and how I pick things for my clients. Or, you know, maybe we can show a capsule wardrobe because I have my capsule wardrobe for spring, summer done a long time ago and it has, you know, more colors than this. It's a lot of yellow this season. So I can show you a capsule wardrobe. We can also do wardrobe organization. So we can talk about how to store and display your clothes in a way which helps you to use 100% of your wardrobe. It's very, very important and after underestimated. Or we can do trends and we can talk about trends, how we shop for trends, do we need to shop for trends and so on. What do you think, Grisha? Yeah, I want to know all of them, to be yeah. honest. <laughs> Okay, so maybe we can like it all, but you can leave a comment. What do you want to see? Do you want to come shopping with me? Do you want to see a capsule wardrobe? Should we show maybe some menswear, wardrobe organization or trends? Just leave a comment and maybe we'll do a little vote as well. And yeah, just wait for us next Saturday. I think we are turning this into a weekly thing. So next Saturday we'll do another live uh, on a topic of your choice. And any comments, any questions, please leave us a comment or a DM uh, and I will answer them. I hope you all have a lovely weekend, lovelies, and enjoy the weather in London as it was. I hope I inspired you for sh some shop buys. I must say, don't over shop with Zara. Just buy the things which you truly love. I always recommend classic pieces just to sum it up and make sure you know you can style them in many ways. Every item you buy said it's like a little shirt think about four or five different ways how you can restyle it it's all about the shopping place shopping the right items and wearing the most of our wardrobe so yeah hope you have a lovely day and i'll see you next saturday bye guys